Well, after reading various reports on MGUs, my friend, to whom I will refer to as Eldridge Mons Quantum, and I decided to try some out. We bought four 1.8 gram packages of Heavenly Blues, 250 seeds in all, from the local Gardenland, along with a gallon of naphtha and a liter of 190 proof ethanol, Volkov variety. I tried to crush the seeds in a pasta machine, between two stainless steel rollers, but that didn't work real well, so I wound up buying a coffee grinder for $11 from Target. The coffee grinder ground up the seeds nicely, and I soaked them in naphtha, maybe 6 to 8 ounces, and then filtered that out. I then repeated the naphtha wash with another 3 to 4 ounces. I then blotted the seed powder dry as best I could and let it dry overnight. It still smelled strongly of naphtha the next morning, but I pressed onward. I let the seed powder soak in about 3 ounces, a Volkov, 97.5% alcohol from the liquor store, and then poured that through a coffee filter, then shook the powder up with another small portion of alcohol, approximately 1 ounce, and filtered that through. At this point, Eldridge and I flipped a coin to see who was going to drink the stuff first. The plan was for the first victim, I mean, brave soul, to drink half of the concoction and see what developed. If it proved too weak, the remaining victim could then trudge off to Gardenland to buy some more seeds, and brew up another batch. If the first batch proved strong enough, the second brave soul would then drink the remaining half. Got it? Well, my luck was with me, and I got to drain the first half. So I poured myself a big glass of OJ, mixed in the alcohol, and had it it. In case you were wondering, don't prepare this stuff if you're in any kind of a hurry to get stoned. I mention this because I evidently didn't allow enough time for the naphtha to evaporate away. As a rule, Mr. Mons Quantum and I have been burping up foul-smelling naphtha for some hours. Blee. The net result was that he and I got pretty buzzed. We both agreed that it was something more than just the alcohol, not an inconsiderable amount, eh? But definitely not like LSD. We puttered around for a few hours, then dropped by Gardenland and picked up six 1.3 gram packets of a different company's Heavenly Blues. By this time, Eldridge was completely sedated, and had crashed on my couch with the dog. I, on the other hand, felt pretty buzzed, and not too sleepy. We both agreed, however, that music was a good idea. Tired of burping up naphtha, we picked up a quart of acetone from the hardware store. We ground up the seeds and performed the extraction with acetone and ethanol, as before. We swallowed the ethanol, in orange juice, and proceeded to wait. Each of us, at this point, has had about 7.5 grams of Heavenly Blues. Acetone seems okay, I'm not sure whether it picks up the law or leaves it for the alcohol to extract, though. It certainly evaporates much quicker than naphtha does, and without nasty a smelly residue. Well, the bottom line, about five hours after downing the first brew, is that I feel like I'm coming onto acid, although I've felt like this for a few hours and it hasn't intensified. The same kind of urgent feeling in the abdomen, the same giddiness, just nothing in the way of visuals. Music is very nice though. I would ask Mr. Mons Quantum how he feels, but as I said, he's crashed out on the couch. Bottom line? Well, at least I didn't throw up, but acid's only four bucks a hit. And I feel like I'm going to wake up with a hell of a headache tomorrow.